Hey guys, today's video will show you how to create a cute nautical nail art design. It's perfect for sailing the seas, or if you'd like a cute and trendy nail art design that's easy to create. So let's get this cute polished design started. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint the tip of your nail white. The easiest way to do this on both of your hands is by having both arms rested on the table while keeping the brush still and slowly rotating your finger. You could also use a piece of clear tape to create perfect tips. Next, use a red striper to create a few horizontal stripes. Again, keep the brush still and rotate the finger instead. Creating the anchor may be much easier than you think. Begin by creating a curved line with a blue striper. I like to do this in two steps. And then paint a vertical line and a shorter horizontal one. Finish off with a fast drying top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed this cute nautical tutorial. Please share your recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Take care, and I'll see you next time. It's that time of year again. Today I'll be showing you how to do a super cute chalkboard nail art design for your first week back to class. There are two options for the materials. The first is this chalkboard manicure kit that I picked up from Sephora. It has everything you need to create this fun manicure. It comes with a matte black polish, a matte top coat, and special chalk markers in blue, white, pink, and yellow. However, if you can't find this kit, you could also use a regular black polish, a matte top coat, and the white nail art pen from Sally Hansen. This will give you a monochromatic chalkboard look. To begin, start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Then paint your nails two thin coats of black. Once the black has completely dried, you can begin doodling on your mini chalkboards. It's up to you what you'd like to draw. I decided to do blue polka dots on my pinky. On my ring finger, I decided to draw a big pink heart. The pink was a little sheer, so I went back in again and did a second coat to make it opaque. On my ring finger, I decided to draw vertical lines, in white and yellow. Then I wanted to add a design that was a little more intricate, so I decided to go with a floral print. To do this, I added pink dots over the nail. While that was drying, I added little leaves with the yellow. Then I went back in with white to add a little dimension to the roses. And finally I doodled some chevron stripes onto my thumb. Once your doodles have dried, you can finish off the manicure by adding a matte top coat to seal in your design and give an authentic chalkboard look. And that's it! Make sure to send me a photo of your chalkboard design on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Take care, and I'll see you next time! Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you how to create this really fun and vibrant rainbow ombre. It's so eye-catching and perfect for the summer. 
The best part about this design is that you will only need three colors to achieve it. A neon yellow, a neon blue, and a neon pink. So let's get this cute polished design started. Start off by painting all of your nails white. Next you will need a porous makeup sponge. Paint a stripe of yellow. Then paint a stripe of pink next to it. Overlap some of the pink with the yellow. This will create an orange stripe in the middle, giving you a yellow stripe, orange stripe, and pink stripe. Sponge these colors over your index finger with the yellow closest to the thumb. You will need to reapply the colors to the sponge and re-sponge two or three times to have it vibrant and opaque. Next, paint a stripe of pink and then a stripe of blue. Again, overlap the colors to create purple in the middle. It's important to paint the lighter color first and then overlap it with the darker one. Sponge these colors over your middle finger with the pink closest to the index finger for a perfect color transition. Next, paint a stripe of yellow and then a stripe of blue. The overlapping will create green. Sponge this combination a few times on the ring finger with the blue closest to the middle finger. For the pinky, sponge the yellow-pink combination over it with the yellow closest to the ring finger. And the thumb will need the yellow-blue combination with the yellow closest to the index finger. Apply a fast drying top coat over the nails to smooth out the texture of the sponging. This will also help blend the colors together even more. Finally, clean up around your nails with either a cotton bud or a paintbrush dipped into polish remover. And that's it! I really hope you'll give this vibrant design a try. Please share your recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Take care, and I'll see you next time! Hey guys! It's spring, so I thought I'd bring on the colorful nail tutorials. I've been seeing a lot of yin-yangs in the world of beauty and fashion, so I thought I'd turn it into a cute and easy mani for you guys. So let's get this cute polished design started. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint your nails one coat of white. Once that's completely dried, take a porous makeup sponge and paint three colored stripes to create a gorgeous ombre. Sponge this over your nail to create the first thin layer. As you can see, it will need more than one to make it opaque. So use the same makeup sponge and just reapply the three colors over the stripes again. Sponge one last time and you will be left with a beautiful color gradient. Then take a white striper and draw a wavy line down the nail. Next, use the striper to fill in one side with white. Take your time while doing this and remember to keep both hands rested on the table. Use a dotting tool to add a white dot to the colored side. For the white side, you will need a marbleized dot to match the ombre. So mix the top two of your ombre colors together with a dotting tool to create the perfect dot. Add this dot to the white side of your yin yang. Finish off with a fast drying top coat. This will seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. The last step is to clean up around your cuticles with a cotton swab and polish remover. I like to do this as the last step because it's a lot harder to take the polish off the actual design once it's been sealed with the top coat. And that's it! A cute and trendy design for your fingertips. If you decide to give this design a try, please share your recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time! Hey guys! I'm very excited about today's video because it's going to be a fun three-part video featuring the new nail polish collection from Sephora. Yep, you may have already seen these new polishes in your local Sephora store, but if not, no worries, I'll let you know what the hype is all about. So for all you nail polish lovers, let's begin with what Formula X is. 
Well, like I said earlier, it's the new nail polish collection that just launched at Sephora. The formula is great because it's super glossy, dries fast, and the colors are very saturated. It comes in loads of different shades, these are just a few. However, my favorite polishes from this collection are called Explosives. They're graffiti nail art polishes that are full of matte glitter pieces in different shapes and sizes. To keep the polishes lasting as long as possible, there's a four-piece nail kit called the System. You start with the nail cleanser to remove any residue, apply the base coat to stick the color to your nails, and then you get to choose your own color in store and pop it right into the box. And finally, a top coat to protect your manicure. So let's use some of these cool polishes to make an amazing galactic nail art design in a super easy way. First, I'm applying the nail cleanser to remove any residue on my nails. Then I'm applying the base coat to protect my natural nails. Now I'm painting my nails in the shade called Dark Matter, a very fitting name for this design. Next, I'm using a makeup sponge dipped into the polish called White Matter to create a random thick line on the nail. This will be the base for the nebula. Here, I'm sponging Enigma over the white for a bright pop of galactic color. Then, I'm blending it into the black by using the shade called Orbit. <laughs> yes, it's pretty obvious that my inspiration for this design came from the product names. Now here's where we quickly turn this manicure into a beautiful outer space design. Glide a coat of the explosive polish in the shade Chaotic over the manicure. Pretty cool, huh? You've easily added stars and moons in the matter of seconds. If you want to make this design a little more challenging, you can dip a thin paintbrush into white matter and add some bright shining stars. Finish off with the top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. And that's it! What did you guys think? I love how fast and easy galaxy nails can be by using that explosive effect polish. Good luck you guys! Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and I'll see you next time! Hey guys! In today's video I'm going to be showing you three different ways that you can create your very own holiday ornaments using nail polish. Yes, using nail polish! So sit back and relax while I take you through the steps of this fun DIY project. The first ornament that we're going to be working on is this gorgeous wintry bulb filled with bells and frosted with sparkling glitter. For this ornament, you will need some tiny bells, some ribbon, a plain glass ornament which can all be found at your local craft store, and finally a glitter nail polish. Begin by removing the top from the glass ornament. Next, you will need to pour in some of the glitter polish into the ornament. Yes, this project requires about a quarter to half a bottle, so if you're looking to save money, then purchase a cheaper bottle. This particular bottle from Sally Hansen costed me about $2. Once you've poured in some of the polish, you're going to need to slowly turn and rotate the polish in the ornament until you've completely covered the inside of it. Add in more polish if needed. Once you've completely covered the inside of the ornament, you will need to turn it upside down on some paper to drain out any of the remaining polish inside. I usually wait about 30 minutes, and then I turn it on its side to let air in to finish drying it for another 30 minutes. So while you're waiting, you can always put on a Christmas movie or begin another ornament. Once it's completely dried, you can add in your little bells. Then, put the top back on and add a ribbon so you can hang your ornament. And there you go! Your very own homemade Jingle Bell ornament! The next ornament I have to share is leopard print with your initial on the front. For this ornament, you will need some ribbon again, a toothpick, another glass ornament, and finally three nail polishes, a brown, gold, and black. So, to begin, you'll need to cover the inside of the ornament with your gold polish. Again, you can use any brand you want. I just really wanted to make an ornament with one of my favorite gold polishes by Essie. Repeat the same steps as before. Pour in the polish, rotate it to cover the inside, and then allow it to dry. 
Next, use the brown polish to begin creating your initial in leopard print on the front. To do this, create spots with the tip of the brush in the shape of the first letter in your name. Here I'm doing a C for cute polish. Then use the toothpick dipped into black polish to create outlines around the brown spots. Finally, add in some little black spots and missing spaces to complete the shape of the letter. Then finish it off with a cute ribbon. Pretty cool, huh? I think these would make lovely holiday gifts for friends and family. The last ornament I have to share today is this unique and fun marbleized bulb. You will need ribbon, a glass ornament, two different colored polishes, and a bent cotton swab. Begin by pouring a little polish into the ornament. Then use the bent cotton swab to swirl the polish around on the inside. I like to do mine in stripes going around the inside. Once you're satisfied with the first color, add in the second. Again, take the cotton swab and swirl the polish around the inside. Continue adding polish and swirling until you're satisfied with the result. Then just let it air dry and add a ribbon to the top. An easy way to create a really pretty ornament that's one of a kind for your tree. And that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this fun DIY using nail polish. If you decide to give one of these ornaments a try, please share your recreation with me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care and I'll see you next time. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a ton of spooky and popular Halloween designs. That's right, you're watching the ultimate guide to Halloween nail art. You can choose to do any one of these 10 designs, mix and match a few, or try them all. First up, the skeleton. Begin by painting your nail white. Next, use a big dotting tool to add two black eyes. Then use a smaller dotting tool or a toothpick to create an upside down heart for the nose. Finally, add three lines at the tip of the nail using a black striper. Seal in the design by gliding a generous amount of top coat to prevent smearing. Another iconic symbol of Halloween is of course the jack-o'-lantern. Begin by painting your nail orange. Then add two black eyes. Use a striper to carefully draw three lines to form a triangle. And then fill it in. Add a smile by painting a curved line. Thicken the smile by adding another curved line beneath it. Use a small dotting tool to add orange pupils and teeth. Seal in with a top coat. Up next is the creepy green monster Frankenstein. Begin by painting your nail a light green. Then add hair by painting triangles coming down from your cuticle. Fill in the hair by using a dotting tool or a striper. Next, add two eyes. And then two thin eyebrows. Draw a diagonal line for his mouth and then stitch it up. Finish off by adding two white pupils and then a top coat. We're not ready to wrap things up just yet. To create the mummy, paint your nail white. Next, paint three diagonal lines like this. Spin 
split one of the sections in half and then fill it in. In each of the remaining sections, add parallel lines. Each section should have the lines going in a different direction. Finally, add two white eyes and spooky red pupils. Seal in with a top coat. The next design is a fun spider web. Begin by painting your nail purple. Next, bring three curved lines into two points, kind of like a stretched out capital M. Then add another one on top of the first. Complete the spider web by connecting the points with lines. Finish with the top coat. The next design is a buckle on a witch's hat. Begin with a purple nail. Then carefully rotate your finger to create a black line. Add a second one beneath it. Fill in the thick stripe. Next, use a dotting tool or a toothpick to add a silver square buckle around the stripe. Seal in with a top coat. Now here's one of my favorite Halloween treats, candy corn. To create this easy candy corn gradient, you will need to paint the nail white. Then add a stripe of yellow, orange, and white onto a makeup sponge. Quickly sponge this onto the nail. Add a second layer for opacity. Clean up around your nail with a cotton bud dipped into polish remover. Seal in your delicious candy with a top coat to smooth out the surface. And now for the spooky cemetery scene. We're going to do another gradient, so again, paint the nail white and then add a stripe of purple and pink onto a makeup sponge. Sponge this a few times onto the nail until it's opaque and blended. Clean up around the nail with a cotton swab dipped into polish remover. Next, rotate your finger to add a black tip. Stroke the brush down the nail to add a headstone. Touch lightly at the beginning and press a little harder as you go down for the perfect shape. Use a black striper to add a cross. Seal in the dead with a top coat. Ready for some creepy dripping blood? Begin by painting the nail with a nude polish. Then press a big dotting tool with red polish onto the nail. Lift up slightly and drag it down the nail. Do this a couple more times to add more drips. Connect the drips by using a smaller dotting tool or a toothpick and curved lines. Finish off with a top coat. For the final design, we'll be working on a simple ghost. Begin by painting the nail white. Then add two black eyes. Add a mouth by dragging the dotting tool downwards, and then add two little white pupils. And seal him in with a top coat. And that's it! 10 fun and spooky designs for Halloween! Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to show me your recreations using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time! In today's video, I will be incorporating two current nail art trends, black and white polish and nail studs. I'll be showing you how to easily create this mix and match design one nail at a time. So let's get this cute polish design started. On the pinky finger, I've created a bordered nail. To do this, first paint the nail white and then outline it with a black striper.
My ring finger has been quilted. To do this, paint your nails a thick coat of black polish and wait two minutes. Then apply a matte top coat and wait five. Use a dental flosser, like I used in my striped nail art video, and lightly press it into the polish. It will leave dents in the polish. This is why we needed thick coats of polish earlier. Create X's across the nail to complete the quilting. Next, I'm taking some gold micro beads, which can be found at craft stores, and adding them where the lines meet the skin and each other. You can stick these on with either nail glue or a top coat. This finger is very spotty. Just use a dotting tool or a toothpick to create lots of black polka dots over a white background. Remember to keep the spacing and sizing similar for a neater look. For the pointer finger, paint your nail white and then use a black striper to create a triangle at the base. Paint the section above the triangle black. You can fill it in with either a black polish or you can be even more precise by using a striper. Finally, I've added a single square stud to the base of my white thumbnail. Again, you can stick it on with a top coat or nail glue. I finished all of my nails except the ring fingers with a matte top coat. And that's it! This is my finished mix and match look. I'd love to see yours! If you don't have some of the materials used in this video, that's fine. Alter to create something different. Maybe you'd like stripes instead of studs. Or how about a chevron nail or glitter? Have fun! Take care, and I'll see you next time! Hey guys! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get these really cute and romantic leopard print nails. They're perfect for a date, Valentine's Day, or any day that you're feeling lovely. It looks great on both long and short nails and can be done with just a toothpick. So let's get this cute polish design started. The first step is to apply a base coat and then work a peachy beige color halfway up your nail. Try not to have too much polish on your brush for this. And if your nails are really short, then just cover the whole nail with the color. Then add a second layer to the tip to give it a gradient effect. Use a dotting tool or a toothpick to add a little red heart on the nail. Use a brown polish to add some spots over the nail. Next, use a toothpick to outline the shape of the heart. Make sure to be careful when outlining the top of the heart because you want it to keep its shape. We are going to make this heart look similar to a leopard spot, so there's no need to outline the whole thing. Try leaving a little edge of it unlined. Next, outline the brown spots. Again, you don't want to fully encase the spot with black. Try leaving little pieces of it open for a better leopard effect. Finally, add a few black spots.
Finish off with a top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. And that's it! I hope you give this lovely design a try. I'd love to see your recreations, so please share them with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Take care, and I'll see you next time! Hey guys! It's spring, so I thought I'd bring on the colorful nail tutorials. I've been seeing a lot of yin-yangs in the world of beauty and fashion, so I thought I'd turn it into a cute and easy mani for you guys. So let's get this cute polished design started. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint your nails one coat of white. Once that's completely dried, take a porous makeup sponge and paint three colored stripes to create a gorgeous ombre. Sponge this over your nail to create the first thin layer. As you can see, it will need more than one to make it opaque. So use the same makeup sponge and just reapply the three colors over the stripes again. Sponge one last time and you will be left with a beautiful color gradient. Then take a white striper and draw a wavy line down the nail. Next, use the striper to fill in one side with white. Take your time while doing this and remember to keep both hands rested on the table. Use a dotting tool to add a white dot to the colored side. For the white side, you will need a marbleized dot to match the ombre. So mix the top two of your ombre colors together with the dotting tool to create the perfect dot. Add this dot to the white side of your yin yang. Finish off with a fast drying top coat. This will seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. The last step is to clean up around your cuticles with a cotton swab and polish remover. I like to do this as the last step because it's a lot harder to take the polish off the actual design once it's been sealed with the top coat. And that's it! A cute and trendy design for your fingertips. If you decide to give this design a try, please share your recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time! Katniss Everdeen, The Girl on Fire In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you the perfect manicure to wear to watch the opening of the second installment of the Hunger Games series, Catching Fire. This nail art design has been inspired by Katniss's bow, the arrow on the Mockingjay pin, and of course the flames all while keeping the book cover's color scheme. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint your nails two thin coats of yellow. Use a black striper to paint a half circle near your cuticle. Then draw a vertical line splitting it in half. Paint a tiny triangle at the tip of the line. You may find it easier to use a toothpick to do this. Use whatever tools work best for you. Using an orange striper, paint many thin lines on the tip of your nail. Only dip the brush into the polish once or twice because you want it to be slightly faded and wispy to look like real flames. Add a second layer using red. Only bring the flames halfway up the orange ones. Again, don't use too much polish on the brush. You want to press the brush against the nail to pull off the little polish remaining on it. This gives more realistic looking flames. Paint the very tip a solid red. Once everything has dried, add a top coat to seal in your design, add a beautiful shine, and also blend the flames together even more. And that's it! Don't forget to show me your recreations using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, may the odds be ever in your favor, and I'll see you next time! Hey guys! Pantone, a global authority of color, has just released its color of the year. This color will be a huge trend in the world of beauty and fashion in 2014. So which color did they announce? Radiant Orchid, a gorgeous purple hue with fuchsia pink undertones. So, in today's video, I'm going to be using some of the polishes from the Formula X line, which you can only find at Sephora, to create a nail design inspired by Radiant Orchid. The first color I'll be using is called Harmonix, and it's a great match to the Radiant Orchid color. 
I'll also be using Ignition for a darker shade in the same color family. And finally, I'll be adding in some Enigma for a bright pop of contrasting color. I'm so excited to share this design with you because it's a bright and fun look that will have everyone in awe over your nails. The best part about this design is that it's quick and easy and only requires polishes and a toothpick. The first step to this manicure is using the nail cleanser from the system. This cleanses your nails of impurities and will extend the life of your mani. Next, apply the base coat to protect your natural nails. Now we're going to paint our nails with one coat of a color similar to Radiant Orchid. As mentioned earlier, I'm using Harmonix. Before allowing that to dry, take a darker shade, here I'm using Ignition, and wipe the top and bottom of the brush off while still leaving some polish on the sides. This step is important because we don't want too much polish on the brush. Then glide the side of the brush down the edge of your nail to create a stripe. Quickly take a bright turquoise, here I'm using Enigma, and wipe off the top and bottom of the brush again. Then glide the side of the brush down the nail to add another stripe of color. Working quickly again, because you don't want these three colors to dry, use a toothpick to drag the colors from one side of the nail over to the other. Repeat this step three to five times, depending on the length of your nails. For a cleaner look, try to keep your lines as straight as possible and keep the space between them even. Finally, add a top coat over your nail to seal in your design, add a beautiful shine, and smooth out the texture. And now you have the perfect manicure for 2014. If you decide to give this design a try, please share your recreations with me using the hashtag CutePolish and the hashtag FormulaX. Good luck! Take care, and I'll see you next time!